Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to update a nested object with React.js. So we've had it in the past video where we created up kind of an input method for like first name, last name, company name, email, and then we had it kind of uh, make a nice line where we had some text coming out uh, using that data. Now one issue that we ran into though was that when we had, for example, let me pull up an example of the data that we had. We had something that looked very similar to this. And again, we had what ours was Bob. Here we had Ross. And then we had company name of some co. Okay. And then here we have again Bob at art.com. Just an example here, okay? Now, <clears throat> one issue that we come up with this is that when we want to grab this information, because remember, this is stored in person. If we want this information out, we have to do three dots in person in order to extract that information. But this is shallow, okay? It only goes one deep. So if, for example, inside of this data, okay, instead of, for example, let's let's make up a new example here. So let's let's delete this. And let's say we have name, and it would be um, Bob Ross, okay? And then we would have uh, work. And here it would have something like his title and it's director of art and design. And then maybe we had his city. And so let's say uh, Juno, Alaska. Or well, we don't have we don't have a state in there, but we could put in a state. Okay, state Alaska. Um, maybe we have you know what? Let's actually make this a little more interesting. And so again, let's do department here, and maybe it's marketing. Uh, salary here and maybe he's making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay so <clears throat> if we were to extract this information in this instance here we would basically get name as bob ross and then we would get work as this object okay it doesn't it doesn't help us get anywhere inside of these other objects. So if we wanted to, let's say, get down to salary, for example, okay, we would need to do something like person dot work dot salary, okay? And if we wanted to update that, we could say maybe he got a raise. We could do 60,000, okay? And then this could update that information. Now, <clears throat> this is how we would do it, for example, if we did it in normal um, JavaScript, okay? But this is because, again, we would be mutating the data. But in React, though, we have to tr treat states as immutable, okay? States don't, states themselves don't exactly change. So we need to do something else, all right? We would need something like, um, we do something like const uh, next um, work is equal to something like this, and it would be triple dot person dot work comma, and let's say we changed it to department to finance. Okay, now if we wanted to change it, change 
the person, okay? And we wanted to change this information. We still wanted to change this uh, to finance as well. Then we could do something like const next person is equal to triple dot person dot work. Well, I actually don't need person dot work on this one because we are just wanting to change their name. Let's say, and we could do something like comma work colon next work. Okay, and then we could say set person next person. Okay, now this could all be done inside of a single function as well. Okay, and so if we do that, it would look something like this. We would do something like set person, triple dot person, comma here, and we would have work colon triple dot person dot work, comma, and then let's say department is finance. Okay, and so what's happening in here? Well, copy other fields. So it's copying the fields that we have here. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then we want to go into the work area. All right, so we're copying all the fields, but we place work, okay? Now we want with the same work, but new department, okay? So maybe he would still be a director of art and design Still, uh, the department would be finance, though, and then it would be still $150,000 a year that he's getting. So it's a bit wordy, but it works fine in a lot of use cases. So let's actually go on and create up a nice use case here. <clears throat> okay. So I will, I'm going to go in and just delete all of that information for now. And we'll we'll use this. We'll start it up again. So we'll start import use state. All right, and we're going to export default in here a function. And again, we're going to use form. And what do we want in here? All right. Well, we're going to have our const. Person set person is equal to new state. And again, this is going to be taking in some object. All right. And what we want in here is we'll have a name. And we'll have, let's say, uh, Bob Ross as our first one here. We'll have work. And inside of here, we'll have their title. And again, um, Director of Art and Design. We will have the um, their department. And let's have it as marketing. And we'll have some salary here. And again, we'll have 150000 and again, you could put other information here. You could even put an image. You could put anything. <clears throat> okay. But again, right now, we're just going to keep it relatively simple. So now we want to be able to change. Let's say we want to be able to change the name, their title, their department, their salary. We want to be able to change all of that stuff. So... How do we handle those? Well, we do these as handle functions. So again, okay, let's create it here and we'll do handle name change. And again, remember it takes in an E, so oops, an E for some event. And it's going to do set person. And we want triple dot person, comma, and we'll do name E dot target dot value. Okay. And again, here we have person, whoops, to person, 
set person to set person here. Okay. And then again, we are renaming, we're unpacking, we want everything, except we're going to change the name value. All right. Then we're going to do it again. And we'll do this for each of these functions. So let me, let's do, we'll do one more for title. And then I'll kind of go through and I'll, I'll speed up the process for the others. Okay. So function, we want handle title change E. Oops. E. E. There we go. And we want to have in here set person. And then we are going to want to, oops. And actually these, being a bit silly, these need to be inside the function. So let's copy them over. Right here. There we go. All right. So we have our <coughs> handle, title, change, set person. And from here, though, what are we going to do? We need our triple dot person. And then we're going to grab work, colon. And then here we want, again, triple dot person dot work. And then we want in here title, colon, e dot target dot value. OK. And so there we have changed up our title. Now we'll do the same thing for the city and the salary as well. And then I will, uh, I'll be right back with you guys. All right. So we have each of these. So we have handle title, handle department, handle salary. Now each of these have <coughs> taken their values. Now the next thing that we want to do here is to go on and make up our return. So return and here we're going to go on and create up a label. And this label here is going to take in a couple of things here. We want it to have, well, this one, this first one is going to be name. All right. Now inside though, we also want to have in our input. Okay. And this input is going to have a couple things. We want the value to equal person dot name. Then we want the on change to equal handle name change. Now, again, you may want to put this as for first name and last name, and then you need to go up here and add things. But again, that's that's up to you and how you would want to go about changing it. And then again, we would do this for each of the other variables as well. So again, uh, just as before, I'm going to kind of speed through these, and then we'll talk about making up the paragraph tag in just a second. All right, so we have them each now for each of the items that we want to change. So now let's let in the uh, last part that we have in here, okay? So inside here, we're going to go on and put in a paragraph tag. And in here, we want something like the uh, let's say person dot work dot title. Mm. And uh, that'll be kind of italicized. So what do we want here as well? Um, so we'll do person dot name. Um, and let's do a comma in here. Space, we want their title maybe to be relatively bold. Um, <clears throat> and let's say something like, uh, what? 
person, comma, title, uh, makes. And then here we can say something like, um, some dollar sign in here, person dot work dot salary. Okay, and let's maybe take a look and see how it looks. If if there's any changes we want to make, we can we can go in and make them. So let's go up here and run this. All right, so let's go and take a look. All right, so we have here. Looks like we have some error in whatever it's doing, but let's let's take a look and see here. It says. Name, Bob Ross, title, Bob Ross, department, Bob Ross, salary, Bob Ross. Again, these should probably be something else, but let's let's take a look and see if they change. So let's do little John, title, no, all right, so let's go back and change those. You know that we know that we have some issues there, and we should have seen that before. It's very similar to what issues we made. So I know that there also needs to be a space here. So we have some space between them. Let's, let's maybe make this strong as well. And let's go on and make sure that we change these up. Oh, and here you can see here, I just copied and pasted them. Each of these needs to change. So this is title. This one here. See, this is the problem always if you Copy and paste, department, and here we have salary. All right, we go back over here. So, uh, director of finance, hoping I have a period in there. Um, Oh, and I didn't actually use finance. So maybe I'll, well, well, we didn't actually use department. So we'll put the department in here in a second. And let's do salary of 120,000, okay? So we can go back over here and we can say something like, <clears throat> person name, uh, title, and then, Let's do department and maybe again in here we can do something like this. All right, and again, just for fun. So let's refresh it here. Uh, Bob Ross, director of art and design. So let's do uh, Jack. Ripper, uh, title, director of bad things, department, unknown, makes zero dollars a year. Okay, so again, you can see here how you can start having things automatically be filled in, and you can have a multiple inside of this data set. Um, this data field that you have here, okay? And all you have to do, you only have to make it up once, okay? In order for it to present itself to you. So <clears throat> if you guys like this and you want more of these, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.